Hello guys, welcome back. This is CSEC now and I'll be going through this June 2023 paper one social study last paper. Without do further said guys, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to the channel so when I post new videos you guys could get notified, alright? Without do further said guys, make sure you guys share the video with your friends so it can help them educational wise purpose as it help you throughout your exams. Without do further said, I'm gonna jump into the questions, alright? So, you got the question right here for number one. It says, in which, of the following, is in which of the following family types or cultural tradition passed from older members to children most, most easily? And it has to do with the extended family. All right? Extended, guys. Number two. It says, which of the following statement best describe conjugal um, family? So, Con conjugal family has to do with family relationships that are developed throughout marriage. Alright, so the answer would be C. Family relationships are developed through marriage. Alright guys, that's our conjugal family. Number three, it says, which of the following action is least like, likely to be concern of adolescents in the family? So, for the least... It has to do by providing financial support for the home. All right. Number four. It says, in the Caribbean, fathers have accepted more responsibility for child, wearing mainly because of the. It's mainly because it's mainly because of the increase in the number. Sorry. It's because of the increase in the number of working mothers. All right. Number five. It says, which of the following are agents of the socialization process? All right. And it has to do with peer groups. All right, guys. Let me know how much you get. Just comment in the comment sections. And feel free to share it with your friends. All right. Let me know how much you get, guys, out of the paper. Number six. It says, the type of care associated with elderly is described as, and it described as geriatric, all right? Geriatric. All right? And let me say something, um, guys. Um, For pediatric, it has to do with, pediatric perhaps, it has to do with, um, for young children, all right? And for sense it has to do with um, uh, persons that are, Basically, in a different category, and for geriatric, has to do for elderly. All right, number seven. He says, which of the following is least likely effect on family life due to drugs abuse by one or both parents? All right, and it has to do with the increase of rivalry among siblings, perhaps. All right. Number eight, it says, which of the following features best character, character, char characterize a family group? All right, and it has to do with face-to-face um, -face interaction. So the one for number eight is C. Number nine, it says Paul is the captain of his school's chess club. At the meeting, he allows members to make whatever decision they, they want. What leadership style is he displaying? And for... For Paul, this leadership has to do with um, de democratic, perhaps. All right. So the answer would be B, guys. Democratic. Number ten. Oh, let me go back. All right. Sorry, sorry. I have to go up. So number ten. It says some adolescents challenges the views, the views of attitudes of adults, such as situation is brought by. And it brought by the, um, the ge generational conflict. All right. Number eleven. It says, which of the following um, qualities are characteristics of a strong leader? So, for characteristics that strong leader has to do with, let me see. It has to do with is is able to make decision that is right, and is always lenient with members. No, does not tolerate disorder. And it has to do with these two guys. Is is able to make decision and it does not tolerate disorder. So the answer for number eleven, for, no, sorry, the answer for number eleven is B, guys. All right, one and three. 
Number 12. It says which of the following characteristics must a group possess for it to be considered a formal group? And it has to do with, let me see, one, the code of conduct, yes, has to do with specific objectives, um, yes, that's merely, memberships of rec uh, memberships requirements, yes. So, it's for number 12, would be all of them, guys, all right? Number 13, it says, which of the following matter is not normally dealt with by family court in the Caribbean? All right, so for family court, it has nothing to do with um, probate of wills. So the answer would be C for number 13. All right, number 14. It says the political parties which forms the government in the first pass, first pass, the post system, is the party that wins the most, and it has to do with uh, seats. The person, um, the um, pol political parties that win the most seats, perhaps. All right, number 15. It says, uh, which of the following concern is least likely to lead protests by trade unions? All right. Um, let me see. Inadequate benefits for a worker? No. Um, unhealthy working environment? No. Expensive house for managers? Um, more opportunities for provision, um, promotion, perhaps. Um, this one, I would have to choose C. The answer would be C. Expensive house for managers. And let me say something. Um, why why the answer wouldn't be D for more opportunities for um, promotions? It has to do with it. It's basically it's it's an internal matter, right? It has to do with an internal matter. For the expense for expensive house for managers would be like how much, um, for example, how much money they put in the business in and out, to for the trade to protest for the trade unions. And if it's not. It would least likely to um, protest by the trade unions. It has nothing to do with more opportunities for promotions because that would have to do with internal matter. All right. Number 16 says, In all CARICOM countries, citizens have the right to vote. The right is preserved because, and the right, the right is preserved because it is enshrined in the constitu on constitution, constitu constitution of these country perhaps. My eyes are giving me so much problem to see these words. Alright. So that for number 16 is C guys, alright? Number 17. Let's zoom it up a little bit more. Alright. Yes, see more but much better. Number 17. It says in which of the following countries is proportional presentation practiced? And it has to do with Guyana. Alright? Number 18, we have here, so, we, so it says, Samuel broke one of the school rules and the teacher gave him 250 lines to write. The action of the teacher is an example of a, and this example is an example of a sanction, all right, sanction. Number 19, it says, which of the following strategies is a, is a political party is likely to use to reach the large number of a person in the shortest possible of time? All right, so for number 19, it has to do with an electronic media, all right? Number 20, it says, a political campaign is a method used by party to, and it's used by party to basically to encourage the people to vote, all right? That's all, look, let's, let's, not, let's, let's not say it this way. That's all what the politician do, guys. Create campaign to, in order for a person to vote, all right? Number 21, so it says, the main function of the prosecutor in the judicial system is to, and it is to basically um, present arguments uh, against the defendants, all right? So it has to do with C. Number 22, it says, Caribbean countries where the king of England is the head of state may be described as, um, this one is, this one for example, guys, this is mainly common sense. I think most of you guys will basically get this one, guys. It's, it's basically easy. As you look at this answer, you could see it's consti constitutional um, monarchies. All right? So the answer for number 22 is C. The monarchies is the, you have the upper head monarchies. Those are the, um, the, the person, like, for example, king and queen that that's rule. All right? Number 23. It says Demo democratic control and open membership are features of a, uh, and it's a feature of a co cooperative society. All right? Number 24, 
He says, which of the following sequence outlines the other through which a bill proceeds proceeds to become proceeds to become a law in most Caribbean countries? Oh my. And it has to do with, let me see. Governor General, President, um, President, sorry, Upper House, Lower House, no. Um, lower House, Upper House, Gover Governor General, and we have President. Uh, let me see. And it has to do with B, guys. So we have the Lower House, we have the Upper House, and then we have the Governor General, then we have the President. Alright? Number 25. It says, which of the following, which of the following are items of expenditure for a government? And for number 25, it's basically pensions, right? Number 26, it says, a national, a national budget as this, uh, has a deceit, <coughs> sorry, has a, dis, um, has a deceit when expen expenditure is, and it has to do with, uh, greater than revenue, right? Number 26, so that's a C. Number 27. It says Caribbean government has improved the rights of children born out of wedlock by and it has to do with passing law to allow them to qualify for in for inherent tax. Alright, so it has to do with C. <clears throat> Sorry. Number 28. It says In the English speaking Caribbean, the first court which hurts criminal offenses is usually the and for number 28, wait, it's it's had most of the magistrates, magistrate courts. Guys, if you do um history, um most of these things came on history, like magistrates, um, those were the ones they were sent to come appeal to try for the court and all of that, right? Anyways, number 29, it says the constitutional the constitutions of Commonwealth Caribbean's countries guaranteeing citizen freedom of conscience, expressions, assembly, and movement, right? These freedoms are usually referred as, and it basically refers as human rights, right? Almost here, guys. Number 30, it says, which of the following is not included in the written cons constitutions of a country? All right, so it has to do with a met method of um, taxation, all right? Number 31, it says the sugar industry in a Caribbean country employs a large number of workers. During the months of February to May, this type of employment, this type of employment is best referred as, and it best refers as seasonal, right? Number 32, it says in a country's rates of natural population increase will be greater when, and it do increase when, when the birth when the birth rate is higher than the immigration uh, rate, eh? so the population. Eh? Number thirty-three, it says, which of the following situations are most likely to result in a country where there is a high employment rate? And let me see on this one. We have a greater demand for goods and services. Yes, this is right. Um, let me see. Um, improvement in the, the quality of life. Uh, not necessary. Uh, let me see. All right. Let me see the other one. The other um, questions. An upsurge in criminal activities. No, 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 no. So this, for this one, guys, number 33, what it has to do with the greater demand for goods and services and the improvement in quality of life. All right. So it's one and two. A. <clears throat> Sorry. Number 34. Right here, it says, fish, backside, and sands are best classified as, and is best classified as perhaps resources. So we have fish, we have backside, and we have sand. Number 35, it says, an example of an intra-regional uh, migra mi migration is the movement of people from and it has to to a uh, people um people from Trinidad and Tobago to Saint Lucia, right? Number thirty six, we have here. So it says the concept of push and pull are associated with, uh, is basically associated with the on the, the migration of the people, right? Number thirty seven, 
It says, we should, have follow, we should have to follow in factors who discourage immigration. All right, let me see on this one. High standard of living, uh, this, uh, high standard of living in the destination country. No, a relaxed immigration law in the destination country. It has to do with B. The relaxed immigration law in the destination country. All right, number thirty-eight, perhaps. It says we should to follow. We should follow in situation is likely to result from an increase in the immigration rate in, in a country. And for number 38, it has to do with overpopulation. This one is a repeat as well, guys. Most of these questions are repeat. Right? Number 39. It says, which of, the, which of the following is most likely to result from the rising levels of unemployment in a country? Alright, so for number 39, it has to do with the increased immigration. Alright, guys. Number 40, it says, which of the following conditions are problems usually associated with rapid German growth in, develop, in developing the country? And for number 40, we will basically have, let me see, unemployment, shortage, um, shortage of housing, shortage of motor vehicles. So we have all of them. All right, guys, um, I'll be continuing with the rest of the video, but let me say something before I do. Um, guys, I would want, like all of you guys to encourage your friends as well um because most of you guys will probably having exams in january perhaps all right early january next year flight spear guys but um for your educational wise purpose encourage your friends to subscribe to the channel and share it as well so you could help others anyways number 41 it says we should have the following phrases um phrases um best describe a census all right and a census has to do with, let me see, the collection of information on a birth date in a country, no. Information of the amount of money spent, goods, no. Let me see the other options. The registration of persons in a preparation general election, no. The counting of a population of a country, regarding the character, um, of, of its characteristics. It has to do with D, guys. The counting of the population of a country, of a country, and the recording of its characteristics, all right? Number 42, it says just the following condition does not contribute to unemployment. And for number 42, it does not um, contribute to increase in export. All right. Number 43, so if you have the following uh, actions may be taken um, by employer against workers doing an industrial dispute. All right. And it has to do with um, lockout. Can't lock me out. <laughs> Number 44. It says, which of the following um, comments is true about the marine life in the Caribbean? And for number 44, it has to do with, let me see, the unlimited resources, no. Um, a renewal resources, yes. It has to do with our renewal resources. All right? Number 44 is B. Number 45, right here. So it says, which of the following conclusion can drawn from the graph? So let me see on this one. So number 45. Uh, let me see. It says life exp exp expense um, declined from 2000. Number B says uh, between 1980 and 2010, women live longer than men. No, no. I'm going to look on the graph and look on that. It says before 1980, women were unlikely to live past the age of 50. Number, um, this one says D. Women born in 1990 were likely to live past 60 than those who all right so let me see so here let me see this here i'm gonna calculate something so 1990 1990 right here we have 1990 all right and we're likely to live for live past 60 than those in 1970 all right 1970 let's see all right, so no, 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 1970, perhaps. Let's see, I'm gonna look on that. All right, 1970, it says 1970, so I'm gonna look on the 70 region. All right, so all right, guys, we're just trying to calculate this out, all right? 70, so we have right here 70. So 1970, yes. So the answer for this one, guys, would be um, persons. 
right here it says women born in the 1990 were more likely to live past 60 than those in the 1970s so for number 45 what it has to do with D all right number 46 it says which of the following groups of resources can classify as renewal <laughs> sorry and renewal has to do with uh, let me see forest water land all right, land, rock, soil, asphalt, renewal, petroleum, forest, water, rock, soil, petroleum, natural gas, renewal. All right, let me see. For 46 has to do with A. Forest, water, and land. All right. Or 47. All right, it says, which of the following statement is true um, about the information present in pie chart? All right, let me say something. So to review. All right, let me say something. For petroleum right here, for, far as we can see, guys, petroleum has 25% of revenue, perhaps. But listen, we have 25% of revenue for petroleum right here. All right, but it says, which of the following statement is true? It can be 25% of the revenue for petroleum and and let me see, read the rest of the option. It says petroleum and bauxite earn more than half of the revenue. Let me see. So for petroleum, petroleum perhaps, and bauxite, we have these are the two that earn the most: petroleum and bauxite, all right? Over the manufacturing sector. All right, guys. So the mining sector right here. This is the mining sector. From petroleum to bauxite is. The mining sector right and from tourism right here to fishing um that is the manufacturing um sector perhaps so for this for number 47 guys the right answer i see most person being um there was a controversy verse e either between the answer was a like petroleum earned more than 25 percent of the revenue or it's the mining sector earned more than the um the manufacturing sector um for this one guys the rightful answer would be d because for here we have petroleum, petroleum um earn um basically twenty five percent of the revenue, but um the backside as well. Those are the are the mine, the minor sector, and and those um these two perhaps um combined in one, which is a uh, the mining sector. They um basically earn more than the manufacturing sector. All right. Number forty eight. Forty eight. Are right, we getting there, guys? We're getting there. Um, says according to the table above country x has so for number 48 let me let me see all right country x uh, so we're looking on this according to the country for x all right let me see all right we have children da, da, da. for number 48 guys would be the aging population all right the aging population we see so far we're 49 it says the age the age range which makes up the largest group in country X and it has to do with let me see let me check on the table back um, 30 30 39 um, 20 is basically 20 to 39 answer for number 49 guys would be 20 to 39 all right number 50 it says which of the following actions me help the government of a country to achieve sustainable development for its people and for number 50 guys um it says help so what would help using welfare program to create employments are uh, developing house estates and available land it says help to achieve sustainable development so it has to do with development uh, let me see for number 50 um offering is sensitive to only foreign investors no or managing the use of natural and physical resources no well housing estates and no it's most likely the guys um see perhaps sorry see it says using welfare programs to create employment um that that could um help to develop the substantial substantial um developments for its people perhaps all right Number 51, it says we have the following strategies would play an important part in a government's efforts to increase consumption of local, locally produced food. And for number 51, it has to do with this. So this is increasing tax on agricultural lands. No, 
be increasing the price of imported food. And for number 51 would be B. All right, increasing the price of increase the price of imported food. All right, number 52 right here. Um, it says the natural increase in population for country X in 2020 was so. All right, so in 2020, here you can see it says refers to it with that gives the information population for country 2020. All right, so for number 52, um, let's check it out 30, 15. 15,000, 14,000,8. Um, answer for number 53 would be uh, 13,000. All right, guys. 13,000. Number 53, it says uh, the net migration figures, figures for country X in 2020 was, and it was basically, let me see. If this was 13,000, that has to do with 6,000 perhaps, all right? All right, guys, could you please comment in the comment section? Let me know how much you're, how much basically you guys have received. How much mark out of the 60 you uh, guys um, has obtained so far, all right? While you guys watching the video right now, let me know how much mark so far you have gained, all right? Number 54, it says the IS authority of the Caribbean, com of the Caribbean community, which is CARICOM, is the... And it has to do with um, the head of government um, conference, right? Number 55, it says, which of the following organization is most likely to be the first tourist one in the event of a disaster in the region? And um, let me see, for number 55, it has to do with D. And for this um, economy, um, abbreviation right here, guys, the CDEMA has to do with Caribbean disaster um emergency management agency all right i guess so the answer for that one is d number 56 it says if a caricom countries imposes a restriction on caricom products which of the following provision is being violated all right so um it has to do with the, the um liberal the liberalization of trade perhaps all right number 57 it says, which of the following actions may hinder the integration in CARCOM? All right, so this one is a repeat as well, guys, and it has to do with restriction on intra-regional trades. All right, that would hinder the integration in the CARCOM. Number 59, we're almost there. Number 58, perhaps, sorry. We're almost there, guys. Uh, it says, which of the following situation is the main reason for trade conflicts uh, which sometimes arise among CARICOM countries. And for number 58, it has to do with, the, let me see, it has to do with the competition for markets when several countries uh, market identically products. All right? Number 59, it says, which of the following policies intended to promote trade among CARICOM member states? All right? And it has to do with um, the removal of duties on regional goods and services. All right, so it's uh, A. Number 60, last and final, guys, of this social study paper 1, 2023. Um, you are now to recent exams, perhaps. All right, so it says, which of the following result is least likely from industrial development in the Caribbean? For this one, guys, could you guess this one? Guess this one in the comment section. Give you five seconds to guess, all right? All right, let me know if you get it. And the answer is increase in unemployment, all right? So the answer for number 60, guys, last and final is an increase in unemployment. All right, guys, if this video really helped you, um, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And also, also as I said before, guys, do share it with a friend. So ensure, ensure that your friend has received the paper as well. Send the link to your friend, guys, and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and do comment so it, my video could get recommended by YouTube in order for more person to get suggestions of my videos and also all of you guys could benefit from the video and learn more. With all due further said, thank you guys for making it. It's CSEC now. And thank you for watching.